Everyone, there's been a huge update to Circus Baby's Pizza World roleplay in Roblox, and I'm gonna show you what it is in this video, including how to get all the brand new badges. So, stay tuned. Alright, so the new update in this game is very similar to what the creators did in the original trilogy roleplay. They turned all the secret characters into badge characters. So there's a ton of badges out there for us to find, and some of the badges have been replaced with different characters. The characters have been updated, so I'm going to go down this list and tell you how to get every single one. The first one is going to be Candy Cadet, which is replacing Nightmare Balloon Boy. So if you're facing Circus Baby's Pizza World, go around to the left side behind it. And we're just going to scoot around all the way back here. I am going to turn music off and turn sounds on really quick. There we go. Now we can hear all the jump scares and such. All right, now that we're around the back, there should be an invisible ladder right there. You can kind of see it when you get up close. All you got to do is climb up this and go over and touch the deactivated candy cadet and you get the Storyteller Badge. There is another ladder here, but I'm just going to go ahead and reset. The next badge is over on the other side of that wall, so instead of walking around the whole thing again, I'm just going to reset and go and walk around from the front. Makes, makes a little bit faster, you know? But anyway, the next badge is going to be for Circus Entered. So again, face the front of the Pizza World, then go to the right side this time. We're still going to the back, but there's a separation where Candy Cadet is, so I think we have to go all the way around. If not, then I wasted a lot of time, and I'm sorry. I'm not sure where that ladder leads to, but we don't need it yet. And look, there's his hat standing right behind the dumpsters and the garbage. I do want to see if there's a ladder. There is no ladder, so you couldn't do it. Unless it's inside, then I don't know. Alright, so after Circus entered, the next one is for Hand Unit, which is inside the pizza world, and it's in the security area. So normally I would have reset, but by the time I finished explaining all that... Oh. Uh, well, I just got the Broken Fox Award by stepping on this hook. So I didn't mean to do that, but I mean, we'll take it. Uh, so there's the Broken Fox as well. For the next badge, though, we're going to go inside and go to the security area. So we don't skip ahead anymore. We want the hand unit. Oh, right there. We found it. There we go. That wasn't too hard. All right, so now we go in here and hand unit should be in here somewhere. Hey, there's the hand unit behind the monitors. Very easy. Next up is Glitch Trap. So, this one is outside by the houses. So, I am going to go ahead and reset and find him uh, by going outside. So, it's faster. Oh, I could have just teleported to the security office. That probably would have been easier. All right. But anyway, now we need the red houses. Glitch Trap is by the second uh, red house to the left. So, I think it's this one. Oh, there it is. I see it. Classic classic and we'll touch the tape and there is the virus or glitch trap next one is vr toy freddy this one is over in fnaf 4 you can run there from here but it is a very far run so again i am just gonna teleport makes it very fast you can teleport just by this door in the teleporter room it looks different than the other two but in bright red it says the fnaf for house so you're not gonna miss it we're gonna go inside all we need to do is go in the back room oh here we go i think i got it hey there it is so here's the fnaf 4 bedroom that we're all used to if you leave out of the right door and go forward turn left at this closet there is the vr freddy headset that took longer to find than i thought it would but next up is high score toy chica uh, this is in the fun zone. All right, now that we're inside, we're going to keep running forward. And the fun zone is to our left, because it says fun zone right up there. 
And High Score Toy Chica should be on one of these arcade machines. I do forget which one, but I'm pretty sure it's one of these. I'm pretty sure. So we just have to run to each one and check them. Oh, it literally has her cupcake on it. There we go. I remember. It's been a while. All right. It's been a while. The next one is Helpy. This one is in Parts and Services. And here we go. This should be something. Uh. Oh, wow. Neither one of those were badges? I could have sworn Helpy was in here. Am I wrong? Oh, no. There we go. There's Helpy. I knew Helpy was in here somewhere, okay? I knew it. Maybe I should start using the flashlight more. Maybe that's a tool that's here for a reason. All right, the next one is Freddy Frostbear. This one is behind one of the houses as well. I remember because it has a giant icicle just sitting out there somewhere. This one is pretty easy to find. So, instead of resetting, I am just going to run outside because we're pretty much here already. By the time it would have taken a reset, I would have been here anyway, so it didn't really matter. But if you just zoom out, uh, Freddy Frostbear should be easy to find. Uh, and there it is. You see it right behind this blue house? So, we're just going to go. We're pretty much right in front of the pizza world still. And then we'll just touch that right here. Big icicle. You can see it from the furthest zoom out. You can see it just sitting there right in front. And there we go. Next up is Phantom Puppet. This one is in the left alleyway near a dumpster. So we might have passed right by it getting the first badge. Whoops. I don't know how that happened. Good thing we did get the other foxy though on the way to the right alleyway. So uh, we already got that one. So that's easy. All right, Puppet, where are you? Where are you? Hey! All right, so next up we have Old Man Consequences, who I believe is another arcade machine. But I think this one is a little bit more difficult. I don't think... Oh, wait, it is right there. I could have sworn it wasn't in the fun zone, but I guess I'm just in the wrong zone. But uh, anyway, here it is right here. You go ahead and touch it, and it teleports you and gives you the badge. So we're going to reset. After Old Man Consequences, we get to find Scott Cawthon himself. So now we're going to head over to the map and go to Afton's family house. This is where Scott Cawthon is hiding. Boop. And now we just have to run around the house. His icon will be back here somewhere. So we just have to keep looking. And, oh, there it is. It's on the house itself. And while we're here, I know of a couple other badges. There is He Always Comes Back with Scott Cawthon. We might as well grab it. And I know of one other badge, at least, that is out here. There's a little Balloon Boy sign there for Nightmare Balloon Boy, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken. No, Nightmare Balloon Boy got replaced. So I don't know who this is. Let's grab it anyway. Uh, the Distraction Award. Is that just normal Balloon Boy? Probably. Anyway, uh, on our list, now we have the Puppet. This is found behind one of the curtains in Ballora's Gallery. Uh, I was gonna run back, but that would take a while. So, let's reset, and I'll meet you guys inside. Oh, there it is. That wasn't too bad. It's literally right behind this curtain over in, I think, Ballora's Gallery, right? Is that what I said? Uh, yep, there you go. Right behind the left curtain in Ballora's Gallery. Not hard to find at all. Next up is AR Toy Chica. This has moved behind the newly added kitchen. Uh, so that's uh, another easy one. Oh, while we're here, we might as well grab this. So there's a Psychic Friend badge in the FNAF 4 house. As soon as you walk in the door, right behind those chairs. So the badge should be in the kitchen, but the kitchen's locked. So I'm not too sure. All right, well, I'm not too sure where AR Toy Cheek is. So we're going to skip that one and go over to Spring Freddy and Spring Bonnie. So they are a combined badge. 
There is a small 8-bit sprite of Fredbear behind one of the houses in the middle row. So we're going to head over to Circus Babies and we're going to go to the houses. And for this one, all we have to do is go to the back of the middle row and just run down all the houses and we should easily see it. Hopefully. There's Glitch Trap again. And now we just look back here. Hey, there it is. Of course, on the last house we checked. It's on the last house all the way at the end. Right here. Or all the way on the right if you're facing the houses. All the way on the left if you're facing the pizza world. Whichever, it's on the back window there. Little 8-bit sprite of Fredbear. That rhyme. But anyway, the next badge... It would appear I'm getting a signal from a friend. I'm getting a phone a friend in call right now uh, from the dev. They're saying that uh, I've, the AR Toy Chica badge is in the kitchen in the pizza world. So uh, I don't know why I went to the other place. So we just have to find the kitchen in here. How easy is that? I didn't realize this had a kitchen. All right. Oh, this is a kitchen. Oh, we were in here already. We were in here. Well, there you go. There's the Chica badge. But anyway, the next one is Withered Foxy, which is the one we found already. We found Balloon Boy. Spring Bonnie Cannon. Uh, so this one is outside as well. And there is going to be a knife in the corner of the map near the houses. So, there's only two of those, but it, they're kind of far apart from each other. So, let's go into both corners of the map and let's see which one it is. Oh, did we pick right? What are the odds? We picked correctly. There's the knife, and there is the Springlock Rabbit. Uh, next up, which is actually the last badge, because we already got the Fredbear Plush and Springtrap. The last badge is Fredbear Cannon. This replaces Rockstar Freddy, who is now just a normal character you can become. And he has a glowing hat up in the mountains. So we do need that ladder after all, actually, which is over back there. So now we'll teleport. That suspicious door is still closed. But anyway, once you get up to it, uh, just climb up the ladder and... I'm not sure where the hat is. Oh, it must be up here. All right, the hat's... Oh, I do remember getting Rockstar Freddy up here. Okay. Back in the day, this is where Rockstar Freddy used to play. If you turn to your right, there's a purple hat on the ground. Go step on it. Stomp on it, even. And the final badge of this game is yours. Congratulations! You have every badge in Circus Baby's Pizza World Roleplay. So I'm going to go ahead and reset. And I'm not going to become every single badge character because there are a lot of them. I'm just going to be a couple and show them off to you. Uh, there we go. And you can become the rest on your own if you want. Uh, let's see. Let's become the storyteller first. Candy Cadet did is one of the new additions to the game. So I figure we got to become it, right? So there it is. Very nice. We have a an active. We have a bunch of voice lines. We have story one. Now I will tell you a story. A story oh, about wait. a kind man who would visit five orphans and bring them to his own land. Uh oh. Maybe, maybe I think I pressed too many buttons. Might break into the I'm so sorry. The five I didn't mean to. So Alright, so there was Candy Cadet. So let's see what we got here. We do have the assistant. We have the clown. The original mascot. Let's go with the Springlock Rabbit. I do want to see if it has it. We got to see. For the sake of the channel. Oh, is it here? Oh, it doesn't look like we have it. But it does have a perform. We have an... Oh, wait. Is it going to do it? No, oh, we have an inactive. We have a jump scare. We have a twitch. Oh, the twitch is pretty much it. The Twitch is pretty much just the uh, the spring lock failure, so I'll take it. We take those. What in the world? I don't know what I did. I broke something. Uh, but we have an eye toggle. We have pupil toggle sitting. 
I definitely... Oh, there we go. I think I fixed it. Uh, s sort of. Oh, there we go. I fixed them. I fixed them. Everything is okay. Everything's okay now. But there you go. There is Spring Bonnie. And let's keep going. There's still so many more. I don't know. I don't know who to become anymore. Well, I mean, we, we gotta become the clown. We gotta become Ennard, right? What kind of world would this be if we didn't become entered in the sister location game, you know? We have a perform. We have a deactivated. Sitting. Jump scare. Mask open. And hold balloon. He looks so terrifying. Why does he look like this? I don't I don't like clown entered. Go back to normal entered, please. For some reason, he's even more creepy like this. I don't know. Maybe it's because he's a clown. Clowns are scary as it is. They don't need to be an animatronic clown too, okay? It's too much. The next one we want to check out is Glitch Trap, which is the virus. So we have... Oh, we have a bunch. Oh, wait, I think... Oh, it's so cool. Is this the one with it, though? Wait, I think it is. Hold on. We have this... We have cake, we have wave, hello, we have dance, two, no, where is it? Wait, what? What was that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, we have this. Oh, I thought this had it. Oh, I thought this had his ability with his cart. He could like hop in his cart and just like drive around. Where'd that ability go? I know one of these games had it. What did you... Whoa, why does he stab when he jumps? It's a very weird ability. No, I know one of these games had that ability. Where if you were glitch trapped, you could spawn in his car and just drive around? Like the beginning of Help Wanted? No! I missed that ability. Whatever game that was in, I could have sworn it was this one. Am I making that up? Am I going insane? Well, I mean, we gotta, we gotta end it off with, with some helpy, you know? Helpy is the most important character of the video game, you know? So, we have a dance one, two, three, thinking, hopping dance, shame. I don't want to do that one. Alright, now I feel comfortable. <laughs> oh, I played the sound! Why did it play the sound of it? Why is he so happy? Oh... Uh-oh. Helpy? Oh, he's alive! He's fine! He got up very fast. It would be cool now if you can make him buff. Like, after you do that, he gets buff and gets revenge on you. That would be kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. He gets buff and he takes away all your badges in the game. Could you imagine? That'd be terrible. I'd be... I'd, I'd quit. I'd quit the video game. Alright, the actual last one we're gonna become is Old Man Consequences. Because, I mean, look at him. He's a dinosaur. But anyway, we have a fishing rod, of course. Classic. We have a sitting. Can we do fishing rod and sitting? Oh, what? And then we have some voice lines. It sounds so cool. But anyway, everyone, that is it for this game so far. They just turned all their secret characters into badges again. So I am very excited to see what kind of badges they add next. And whatever they do, you already know I'll be doing videos on them here. Same with the original trilogy roleplay and pretty much any other FNAF roleplay. So if you need those videos and you're excited for them, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell icon so you never miss any videos from me. Also, whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, use star code GALLANT. And that's it. I will see all of you in the next video whenever that is. Until then, bye.